Man finds magic box, let the story commence. It's a typeface, not a font. Where did you read that, Black Newman? What website you're looking at right now? Black Newman, everybody, is the one who gave me duff shite directions in Subnautica Below Zero because he was reading from an out-of-date or incorrect or non-applicable guide. Oh, you missed something! T turn around! You missed something! Oh, where? It, uh, t t t t the, to the left there of the plant. Well, where did you see it? it it's, it's, uh, you've missed the thing, it's to the left of the plant there. Right? Here? Well, just to the left of the plant. Right, I'm looking, here's the plant. There's the left, where is it? Right, well, it, it, it should be there. Well, it is now. Black Newman says, and you were stupid enough to listen. That's fair enough. Scorched earth. Scorched earth policy. Completely like that. Right, he knows he's fucked it, so he's just going to wreck the whole fucking place. The only thing you're wrecking is your own reputation when you do that. You're finished. You're finished. Man finds magic box, like the story commence. Craig was walking down the street, minding his own business, when suddenly he tripped up. And he thought, oh fuck, I've embarrassed myself, there'll be somebody watching me right now. So he turned around to look at the wee tile that must have been like a wee bit out of place on the pavement. You know, you know that thing, kind of look at it. Well, hmm. Was the minute tripped up? That tripped me up, that kind of thing. And he looked and it wasn't a tile, it was a box. A wee wooden box about that size. Where we lid and a couple of wee hinges. With a wee a wee handle, a wee round one. Like a knob. <laughs> a knob. And he went back to it and, and sort of picked it up. As if to, you know, like, kind of look around, like, who's, who's, like that. And he saw that people just walking by and nobody was paying attention. So he just, he just kept, he thought, right, fuck it all. He tried to get it open. He could hear something inside. But he tried to get it open. The window opened. It was a wee bit stiff. He could feel it, it, it might open. But he wasn't able to open it right here. So he thought, um... Right, fuck it. And he and he and he went away with it and he and he, he started putting it in his bag and he was looking about waiting for somebody to look. But nobody was looking until we looked up at a tenement window and he saw an old man looking like this. To the curtains like that. Like that. And Craig was like He just ignored it. He just thought it was an old guy. Then a, a wee nosy. What's up? Is old guy going to grasp me into the polis and say he tripped over a box, then picked it up, and it obviously wasn't his, and he took it away, officer? That's the kind of form of theft he should hand it into the station to see if somebody claims it from lost property. And after six months, if nobody does, you get to keep it. But I've actually heard, see the polis, they actually keep it themselves. All that stuff went through, so you just, just thought, just move on. And he took the box up the road and he thought, right, let's get this opened. And he opened it up. He pulled as hard as he could. He used uh, the claw end of a hammer to try and get it, wouldn't he? And you would think the wood would sort of splinter away. He didn't want to break it, but he noticed it, wasn't he? Really strong box. It was like steel, but it was wood. And he just thought, look, you're trying too hard. He didn't know where that thought came from. But he thought, you're trying too hard. Just open it gently. And he went like that. And it opened. Just grabbed out the knob. And it opened like... The sort, it opened so easily you would think that simply by turning this box upside down the lid would swing open like that. Just like that. He's like, how is that? And he looked inside. There was nothing there. There was nothing there. He was sure he heard something inside. There was nothing there. 
And he, so he shut the lid and he thought, and he said out loud, oh well, <laughs> I was hoping for like a few quid or something like that, but there's nothing and he looked back in it and there was a few quid. He went, wait a minute, I just said I was hoping that there was a few quid in it and then maybe there was a few quid and I just didn't see it but I saw it subconsciously. But, you know, like, as if my subconscious was like, did you not fucking see that? You know the way you use Dave when I'm playing a game and you go like, blind, why is he not seeing that? It's right there. You know you say all these horrible things to me when I'm playing a game. As if he's subconscious was like, fucking look, look again, you missed it. No chance. So he emptied it out and he had a right good look. Empty. And he shut, he shut the, the box no, he, no, no, no fuck it he kept it open and he went I hope there's a few pound in this nothing happened he shut the lid and, and he said I hope there's a few pound in this opened it up three pound coins he picked him up and he's like fuck this is this is, is this a magic box? Has this got a kind of voice activated thing? But how would it know that, no. He shut the lid again and he went, I hope for a bag of 20 Mitsubishi um, designer drug ecstasies. And he opened the lid and there were 20 90s style chunky Mitsubishi designer drug tablets of ecstasy. He took them out and he went, this is a magic box. And he looked at the other side of it like, is somebody putting their horn through and like don't be daft he thought oh don't be daft oh I know don't be daft because this makes perfect sense <laughs> there's no chance of that how could someone put their hand through obviously it's just a magic box <laughs> but seriously he shut the box he thought right you can't just do this for money and for eckies what can I do to help the world? I hope for a grenade. He opened the box and there was a fucking good old fucking good old fucking grenade, man. A grenade, you know, that looks like a pineapple. Let's have a look at a grenade. Let's make sure we don't look at somebody who's been at the receiving end of a grenade because that'd be TOS. Possibly even showing a grenade. It's TOS. No, you've got. Um. Right, we're all right. We're all right. Are we all right? Are we all right? Are we all right? I think we're all right. Aye. So that so, you would get this in games. You would get this in like. Um, Call of Duty. That, that there was in the box and he pulled it out and he went like that. He went like that. No, I'm fucking changing the world. And he went like that. Give another, I'm hoping for, give another grenade. Can I get away with just saying give me another grenade instead of hoping? Opened up. Grenade. Shut it again, he just went like, grenade! Nothing there. Right, that doesn't work. You can't just say it. I want a grenade. There it was. He had a big fucking pile of them piled up. He went, right, no. Um, in fact, give me, uh, I, I hope for a, a small SD card that has on it documents 
that will explain to me in a very simple way, like kind of bullet form and in an order, how to go about making a nuclear bomb. Especially in a way that can be given to me through this magic box. So no no like instructions are like you've got to get it, like you've got to get a big fucking lorry in and do that. It can all be pieced together with this box, so the instructions must reflect that. And he opened the box up and there was a, a an SD card he put in his computer and there was a PDF of how to make a nuclear bomb using parts that were wee enough for the magic box. And he built that. In fact, um, I'm hoping for somebody to knock on the door. Mm. I'm hoping for somebody to knock on the door and say here's a bigger magic box for you and he shut the he shut the right and he waited named the chapter on the door he thought that's not it um i'm hoping for a button that when pressed that then summons somebody to the door with a bigger magic box so i kind of just hope for something to happen it's got to be an object the object is going to make it happen. Actual pulse. So he opened it up and there was a button, like a wee kind of doorbell, and he pressed it and it went ding dong. And he checked his door and there was a guy there. A guy like that. A uh, delivery. Big box. Cardboard. Unwrapped it. Took it in. Yeah, basically, it's that wee box, but bigger. Big enough for him to get fucking in it. And he went, I, I hope that when I get in this box and then get out again, a um, hundred years in the future, but like I'm protected by some sort of bubble around me so that if this building has been demolished and a new one has been built here. I'm no, like, in concrete. Like fucking Han Solo or something. So it's like a bubble of minimum two metre, uh, two metre radius all the way around me. Kind of like the Terminator type of thing. So he got in the fucking box, shut the door and opened it. And there was like a fucking like modern technology and all that. Same house. And like a family were like, oh my god. Who's that? Oh a box just appeared. And then he started he said, I hope when I get back in the box, I'm some and then get out again. I'm somewhere kinda and still in the same time though. But I'm a wee bit like in a field away from people and nobody can see me. He got in, got out, and he was in the he was in the uh, Kelvin Grove Park, kind of up in the hill. And he looked about. Glasgow uh, Uni was still there, but there was some new buildings, kind of skyscrapery ones, and they were all like glass, and there was like flying motors and stuff like that, and it was holograms. So he went for a wee walk and he passed this um, a family and the wee wen went, look, look. Look at that, look at the silly clothes that old man is wearing. And he went, steady on, I'm not that old. And as he was saying it, he actually heard this Steady old, steady old, I don't know that old. He went, wait a minute. And he went back to the box and he went like that. I'm, I'm hoping for a mirror, I want a mirror. And he looked in, he opened the box, there was a mirror and he looked, he was an old, old fucking guy. And he went, wait a minute. I look like that old cunt who was at that fucking windy. Am I him? 
I'm going to see if I can meet, fucking go there and, and meet him. So he got back in the box and he went, take me back like a, a hundred years to where I picked that up. And I want to be in that like, house where that old cunt was. And he jumped in and he got out and there he was in there, but the old guy wasn't there. He's like, was it me? And he looked out the window. Just as he saw his younger self picking up the box and taking it away and putting his bag in. And the younger him looked up and he looked at it like that. But what he didn't know, the younger self, and he just realised, this is the twist here, was that you could always sort of see him for that, like that up, you know, in the window, you could always see him for that, that up. He looked down, he was fucking bollock naked. He somehow didn't have any clothes on. So he, th he had a laugh thinking the first time I saw that old guy who was actually me I didn't know he was bollock naked. So it was funny. It just gave him a wee laugh and then he died a heart attack because he was 140. And then um, the grenades that he had left in the past, well, the present, what, what would have actually been the future, but his past, then all went off because uh, space time tear. They all went off. And because they were grenades made via the magic box, they did something really, really, really bad to the universe. The end. I can't even describe what it is, it's beyond your comprehension. Really, really bad, by the way. But a lot of damage. The end. Thank you. How do I know? This is going to be... This is going to be fucking mad. I was the box. I used to be that box. It would take me all fucking week to explain to you how that is. So I'm not going to. We've not got the time. We've got this game to get on with. 